I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do an oil change on the Grom and also going to install the new um, the bar mirrors as well. Gonna see how those are. Uh, they're gonna be a little bit more lower than uh, these here, but uh, hopefully there's gonna be a huge difference. Let's go ahead and uh, get ready. All right, so I just got the ground started up right now. I'm going to uh, warm up the engine. That way I can uh, easily drain the oil here. So I uh, just got the drain bolt out here and uh, draining out all the oil. Probably gonna take a little bit while and uh, probably wait about another 15, 20 minutes. Conveniently enough, uh, the drain bolt was actually right under the engine as well, so it's actually not that difficult to get to. Uh, you basically need a 17 millimeter socket. So right now I'm just gonna go ahead and angle the ground straight up. As you can probably tell here, uh, there's quite a lot of oil uh, that's still being drained out. Just uh, give it a nice little tug both uh, directions here. Get that extra oil out. Uh, the oil actually is not too dirty at all, which is basically what I've uh, already uh, figured out because it actually wasn't too far away uh, from the last oil change. So, uh, but it's February, so you know some people they'll do oil changes, um, you know, before winter or maybe like after winter. All right, so today I'm going to be using uh, the Castrol Power RS Racing 4T. Always abide by the manual, whatever it recommends for oil. But uh, I've had great success with the uh, the 4T from Castrol, uh, synthetic obviously uh, on the CBR 600 R. So I basically uh, have been using this on the Grom. I believe the last two oil changes. Once I got the uh, the Grom at 400 miles, um, I changed the oil, and I think I changed it again, probably like around six to seven hundred miles. Uh, just to kind of see how the uh, you know the engine and also the oil look like. Um, I think the intervals they said when you have a new bike for under a thousand miles, you'll want to do the first oil change like every 500 miles. Uh, but then again, you know, uh, change your oil as much as you can afford it, right? All right, so pretty much uh, the oil has been fully drained out of the Hanagram. And uh, basically what you want to do is you want to clean the drain bolt and some people will actually use like another you know washer after every oil change uh, but I'm not gonna go I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna use the original one uh, just clean it down I use uh, isopropyl or rubbing alcohol uh, just to get all the, uh, the grease and oily stuff out of it and then basically what you want to do is you want to use like a clean like paper towel or something clean up that extra area there and then basically uh, screw back on the drain bolt so let's go ahead and do that right now All right, once I get the drain bolt on, I want to go ahead and use a socket wrench here. Now, some people will say like, uh, you know, you need to use like a torque wrench um, with a certain amount of uh, pressure, you know, uh, like foot per pounds. But basically, I just use it. Uh, I just hand tighten it as best as I can, and uh, I've never had a leak ever since. So, knock on wood. Hopefully, that's not going to happen. All right, so let's just go ahead and open the oil cap here. And I also actually uh, removed this as well to make the oil drain a little bit more faster when I was removing the old oil. I got the new oil in here and all the oil from the funnel is pretty much already uh, inside of the engine there. Put the oil cap back on. I believe the Hana Grum 2015 actually only needs exactly one quart. So it's actually not that expensive to do the oil change itself. Alrighty, so the oil change is pretty much uh, completed. Um, I've got the new oil in there. I'm gonna place the drain bolt, clean that up. Also clean the, uh, the oil cap there as well. So basically what we're gonna go ahead and do is uh, get this drum started up. Get the, uh, the fresh oil cycled into the uh, the grom. Alrighty, so now that we have the old oil out in the pan, obviously you don't want to throw it into like a, you know, you don't want to dump it into your toilet or your faucet or anything like that. You know, be responsible. I got these uh, brand new Grom mirrors, which are gonna be a little bit more angled, and I think, I wanna say they look like a little bit more like a Kawasaki type of form as well. But uh, let's go ahead and open this package up and see how it is. Let's go ahead and see if I can remove the mirror here. 
So that's the mirror right here. And I can definitely tell that it is a, a lot shorter uh, than the stock ones. I'll go ahead and take off the old ones and uh, compare the size and lengths of them. There's a lot of, of the uh, bolt here. You can obviously tell that the angle is gonna be a little bit lower. So you're gonna be getting a lot uh, lower profile, which is basically what I want. What you need to do is you need to remove these little covers here from the nuts right over here. I'm not exactly sure if this is OEM or not. Uh, it might've been from the previous owner. I'm not 100% sure. What actually fits for this one here is a 14 millimeter. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go and unscrew these uh, little nuts here off. basically screw this back on here. Hopefully the uh, threading is the same as well. So you wanna keep on going and then basically use that nut there to kind of tighten it down so you get that good angle wherever you want it to. But basically you don't really wanna over thread it. All right, so I can feel like I definitely probably over threaded that right there. What I'm just gonna do is just basically tighten that nut down there. I'll go ahead and readjust the uh, the mirror as well. Alright, that is one down. Let's go ahead and get the other one done.